martial arts on a budget means that sometimes you don't have the time or the resources to fully dedicate your money and your assets to martial arts training. So you have to get creative and use everyday chores like laundry to get to work. Now using your feet to pick up your laundry and sort it out isn't the most efficient way to do things, but it does help work particular muscles in your feet that are essential to great balance and also foot strength to help you be more coordinated with your feet and your legs for kicking. By doing these toe pickups, I'm able to work on my balance, my coordination, and also work the strength in my foot to be able to hold particular kicking foot positions. You can start from floor to basket or step it up a notch and try to go from basket to your washer. Please make sure though you are being safe about it and if you don't have the space obviously to be able to do it or the skill yet to kind of try this drill out, don't attempt it, don't try to break anything, don't break your washer and obviously don't break your clothes or get yourself in a finicky situation. But these motions as you can see can kind of translate into particular motions for kicks. So like this one when me trying to flip it over into the washer you can kind of translate that to like it were crescent kicks even, axe kicks, and certain muscle groupings that uh, might not be as developed if you have not really tried it before. So this is a interesting, fun, and kind of entertaining drill to get this going. Again, this is not the most efficient way to get your laundry done, but from the research I've been looking at right now, it seems like working your feet and just getting those stronger and more well developed actually will provide a lot more health benefits later down the line. If you're a person that suffers from foot aches or foot cramps, these exercises might help reduce the occurrence of those things. This can also help you in your older age when balance is essential for preventing you from falling down or any kind of clumsy injuries due to lack of coordination and balance. From an athletic standpoint, you actually might be able to improve your speed, your burst, just from having your foot be stronger. Now, staying efficient with time, if you don't have anything else going on with your laundry, basically the time that you're waiting for your clothes to get done washing, you can use this to throw in some particular kicking drills. Double check that you got all your clothes that you need in the wash, and then let's get started into our kicking routines. Some of these drills might be familiar if you've ever taken a martial arts class, so let's get started with our round kick raises with our round kick extended, holding it, toes pointed, controlling, bringing it up and down as much as we can while maintaining posture, back straight, and everything in line, making sure not to fold on over while maintaining balance. Try to make sure that your foot does not touch the floor in between reps. Once you're good with that, we're going to go start into the breakdowns of the kicks, which we are going to go from a chamber position and kicking at various heights, going from low to mid to high. Now, this is going to now work on, again, more balance and coordination and strength. If you want to increase the difficulty, you can actually hold out the kick a little bit longer at each particular height. Or if you're just kind of warming up and going through the motions, taking your time is perfectly fine too change up the style of kick if you want to using a side kick and positioning instead it's a great way to basically exercise your foot and being able to hold different types of kicks at various levels so taking the motions that we were practicing with picking up close with our feet we're going to go for basically a side kick to accent combination you can change up the kick to be a round kick instead but you can see how those motions can apply to actual kick combination if you end up kicking for the whole entirety of waiting for your laundry, you probably got a good, awesome kick session in, fantastic. But even doing this drill for like 10 to 15 minutes a day just to help maintain is actually great as well. So you might not always have time to do hour long sessions, but if you can find it, awesome. And that's the end of this martial arts on a budget episode. If you guys enjoy the series, please let me know in the comments below and share it with a friend that might need to use this too. Until next time, remember, keep on kicking. Bye guys.